out did my part two video. That was perfect timing. Really was. Well, I started, I'm past those three houses, but oh well. Doing a second video won't make it too long anyway. The timing of stuff is just comical sometimes. I call me and I go, well, I guess it's, I call me about the soon as the dragon family living in that house, Mizzy Dragon comes around the curve of the park service vehicle, the park service bus, when they do, when they, well, they're not doing tours right now, so they're probably just driving it out to get gas and maybe to keep, well, to keep the engine from seizing up or whatever, because tour buses don't want to sit in vehicles like that. You don't want to sit, sit for long periods of time. So I'm just guessing that's what they were doing with it. Then again, they might be doing it some, some maintenance work. I caught the tour thing, but I don't know if it's actually park service or just... How's the trail here? I didn't know this trail was here. That's the Thurman Union Sorts. Apparently, they, they, every year at New Year's, they ring that. But I don't see what's down here because I'm kind of curious. Now the road actually circles and goes down to the depot there, but okay, I'm not going very far, this is screw up. Yeah. I'm not going to try to get past here. This will be a future explorer project. Come winter time when the weather starts turning cold and we get a couple good hard freezes and all the ports knifey and stuff is killed. When the blast dies down, it's easier to well, it's easy to see the thorn business now because they grow certain types of leaves. But it'll be easy to walk down when I know, when I know I'm not going to hit poison ivy or come across snakes. That'll be a, not the near immediate future, but still a future project. Video project, I guess you could say. Dead end street. There's like two more houses back there, but family listening one, I don't know if they would like me walking past there or not. I'll be a future video too. How's the bunch of fish layers and stoves in here? There's an old war scene machine, a couple old school fish layers in the 50s. I think that's a filing cabinet. I see two of those from old school fish layers. That I can't tell is an old school fish layer cabinet. I think it's an old school fish layer too. Huh, interesting. There's more back there. All these are pretty much caved in. Nobody's taken care of and they're falling down. I'm just going to do a video that I'm definitely not going in. That's an old school water tank. Old water tank. That's one of those in that building that was on Main Street, Mount Hope, I was looking at. The guy wanted $20,000 of the building. That's two of those humongous cast iron stoves upstairs in one of the rooms in the hot water heater like that one. Kind of those apartments there and that building in Mount Hope's been abandoned a long time. They still, they still have the cast iron stoves in the kitchens. He took all their way areas and all their other stuff out and sold them. The guy that owns the building. Of course I'm getting all subject here. I'm trying to figure out where the train's going. According to Missy Dracken though, the train has not went by yet. Amtrak has not went by yet. I think it's funny that I make that comment the since the Dragon family comes lives here and one of them comes by in the van and we got to talking for a minute. They used to see me here. I'm one of the locals that come down here a lot, so I think everybody down here pretty much knows me. It's kind of one of those things. The train crew on the, the up late stuff, down Little Creek, Brats Line, the Stick Creek Spire, the RJ Corman crew, they used to see me too. Of course, they go right past my house, so I see from the train stand a lot more than I do here. I don't know what MB stands for. I really don't. Some kind of marker. Now, if I saw that pipe, I'd come back up on the upper part of the road. Time to go with the park service doing. Oh well. That first video is going to be the long video. This is going to be the sort of video because. I was so close to the end anyways. That'd be a good video here. They've recently cleared the bus off. Used to be, you couldn't see, see the trussle from here because the bus is so thick. I know it's not recent within the past month or two, but 
probably in the winter time back in February, Marks and Appalachian and Power had the Nelson's Tree Service and the the Nelson's Tree Service, and I'm trying to think of the other tree service. It's got the two companies that work out lots and power clearing off bus. So one of those two companies came here. The ones the white trucks of Nelson's Tree Service, the ones the orange trucks I cannot remember. I know there's been I know that multi-million dollar project they're working on. I'm gonna mount get back to town and see how many bridges, how many poles this didn't they were replaced. They're working on one, but I want one I get the one across the road from the one they were working on. New roof of the train depot. There's a lot going on down here. A little too wet to mow. I don't think it rained on the opposite side of the tracks here. The roads is wet and everything's here, but you get on the opposite side of the tracks and walk behind the quarry tower. There's practically no evidence of rain. Everything's like super dry, but there's some rust on the rails on main two, so there's been nothing on track two today. Only on main one. But apparently, I don't know if Amtrak came or not. Kind of wonder if Amtrak even been through here. Oh well. They might be running really late. If I go down here, I'll be across the crossing. I think I'll go this way. That comes out across the road and heads out. But this way, I'll get past some other buildings. See if I can see what the signal tower looks like, see if anything's coming. Plant a couple more houses. Hey, that truck scared me. I heard a noise and didn't know what it was. Then set this video and make a quick phone call. That's the area thumb and I just walked through. I don't think a lot of tourists go up there. I know some do, but I don't know how many. I think a lot of people from out of state don't like these roads. People from the Florida states. Not so much. I know West Virginia, a large portion of Virginia, and a large portion of Pennsylvania is a lot like West Virginia here. Got crazy roads. I've traveled through those states. Tennessee, once you get past Knoxville, it's not so bad. I'm going to see there's a green signal. But there's a house there. And the stone buildings, this is the part of Thumbnail that everybody pretty much sticks to when they come and do the tours. Everything's still red. Okay, I'll walk down here if that's still red the other way too. I'll probably head back home. But this is the part that everybody goes to. I'm confused because I thought for sure that they were coming down here. Okay, maybe all that Corman's not coming down here like I thought they were. what they're doing. But here's these stone buildings. Park service restored these to a certain extent. Sadly that one down here was sadly that one down here was completely gutted. I think it's this one here. There wasn't anything left. It had caved in completely and they had to redo everything brand new because it, the roof had caved in and everything inside was rotten. So they, they were able to save the outside cell. I think half the glass in the windows were broke. The good news is this wood for the most part is original. The woodwork here. They were able to save that. I guess it leaked enough and the big snowstorm caved a lot of that in. But they were able to save this part. The doors are original and this is original for the most part. Amazingly. It's still original. Some of the glass I think is a little bit of both parts half and half. Hmm. I don't know who that person is. He's famous. He's probably not living anymore but I don't know. That young woman sees a lot of pictures in this history books talk about fake county history. She's in a park service pictures and stuff. I think there's a little article I came across where I her husband was supposed to apparently her husband was off fighting World War II and I guess he walked at the store one of these stores Helping out was having to take up the extra weight where the men was going. There's a little argo about her helping run the business because a lot of men were out fighting during World War II and the husband's out fighting, fighting with the war effort. 
that one young person standing in front of the camera and that fellow, if the camera, I don't think the camera, I probably didn't pick up the picture that good enough to see who I'm talking about because there's a lot of people in that picture. So I probably didn't get focus on nothing that one, but it's funny because that one person apparently because I article in a few other articles about the history of the stores he walked at where a lot of fed all these people passing through on the troop trains on the way to the coast to be sipped overseas to fight in the war effort. I think that's why I one of the ways to help so much because the article don't say her husband lived or died, so I don't know. I do know that one particular person in that one pizza leaning the get over the counter smiling at the camera probably had an idea to become famous for a, pit, a photo taken. I'm, I don't even know if they're still live. I don't think anybody in those photos is still living. I think they've all passed away since then. Well, maybe some of the little kids in there. The photos of some of the little kids because a lot of these photos are taken in the early 1900s. I know a couple that's taken in the 1940s. The kids in the photos that's taken in the 1930s and 1940s might still be living. Oh, I forgot to point out the smallest town hall in Fayette County. And that's the calling tower I've done that part one video. The calling tower. I'm going to go down here and see if there's a green signal. But I'll probably quit filming if I get there. I'll film until I pass the red house. Because on the other side of the red house, the buildings were. Uh, I thought I saw that train was coming down here. I was wrong. Oh, well, I'll catch something on the main line, maybe. But the goats, I don't know if they're here or not. I don't think they are. No, but I don't see them. They're up there somewhere. I don't even hear them walking around, but I know they're there. Oh, well. I thought the soil going to get another storm. Thought it lightning so much this morning and rain for like a couple of minutes. But I don't think it rained over there. It's so dry over there. I live if they get rained on this side of the tracks, not that side of the tracks. That does happen. I know rain Mount Hopeland with all night because everything was soaking wet this morning. I have one big yard I got to mow. I actually enjoy being carp enough in my yard so I don't have to rush to mow. It's kind of nice to be carp enough. But there's that house. That's a weird noise. I've been in there before but not recently. Years, a few years back. I mean, I friends, some friends was looking around this dark side that runs past us and down the steps to the back. What the heck? Can you ever how that same loud click sound that's here a probably not quite an hour ago when I walked up around. But okay, I'm still filming and I said I wasn't gonna film. I don't know about this building, I don't know much history about this building. There's a lot of train videos here in Thurman. There's a lot of videos of this stretch, but practically no videos of that one area. The same fun. So I forgot that two-part video. But I forgot to point out where the engine house used to be. Oh well, I could do more videos because I come here a lot. But something I'm gonna point out before I end the video. I just walked up that way. I walked half up there a good ways before I started filming. So, but I was in this house standing in front of the house one day trying to film a train. I hear all kinds of noise like furniture being moved across the floor so like somebody's pushing a couch or a dining room table or something across the floor and you can hear it scraping around and hear a couple of loud thump sounds. I start freaking out. At first I thought somebody was doing a practical joke but after walking around the house it's impossible. Nobody could be in here. I point that out. All the windows are boarded up where they got these grades on them and all this is like this. It's been like this the whole time. There's no way anybody could be in there. Period. So I can't explain what it was. It scared me, freaked me out pretty bad, I know that. It really freaked me out. Of course I didn't get the train video at the time because I was too freaked out and too sick up to film the train. So I just went over here and watched the train go by. Because when it took something like that kind of freaks you out. <laughs> Sounds like there's a train coming now. But everything's red still, so I don't think it is. That's the dude's doing that truck sitting over there, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs>